Hi everyone, Nelson here. So a couple of weeks ago, one of my friends asked me if it was possible for me to help him in building his new pedal board. Uh, he plays the lead guitars and is the lead singer of a metal band. Uh, so he needs to do a lot of stuff. So he asked me if it was possible to build a small pedal board, but capable of operating many, many pedals. So in this video, you'll see how we get to build this board and how it will be able to use it. Let's go. Okay, so let us see what we have got here. Let's cut this open and check what treasures we ordered. So, we have here a nice original crybaby. We have a BBE Busta Grande. Then a Holly Benton FXL8 Pro, which is actually the same one I'm using on my board. We have... Oh! Nice delay pedal. That's a Boss DD500. Digital delay. And the last... The board which is a Pell Train Metro 24. Let's try and open it. Okay. Okay, let's open it. So in here we've got some zip ties, a handle, and some Velcro to put on the board and on the pedals. Okay, that's actually a bit smaller than what I expected. Hope it fits. Hope all that it needs to put in there will fit. I don't know which side is, is the good one, but well. So in here we've got the BBE Busta Grande. Very, very nice pedal. I'm actually using one myself, but it's the first version. Uh, then, the DD500. So I've got the manual and the greatest pedal, I think, in all of the board will be this DD500 which can be operated via MIDI and that's the reason why we have the FXL8 Pro because it can send MIDI informations we'll set up the pills in a moment then we have the classic it's been it's actually been many 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 years since i've seen a brand new crybaby i i use one myself but hey cat yeah it's very interesting what's happening here for him no no so the crybaby will not fit as I thought it would so that's that's a problem that we need to fix 
And the last one most important piece of equipment that, to my opinion, will be on that board is the switcher. This is a model that I've been using and touring with uh, for many years and I highly recommend you get one. It's one of the cheapest, it's one of the most reliable. It's the Harley Benton FXL8 Pro, which is just great. So here you have it. I'll be talking about the pedals in a moment. So the spaces that we have here, um, so we have plenty, plenty of space for uh, the switcher. I actually don't know how we will fit the crybaby in here. I don't think it will be possible at all. So we might have to use it next to the board. Now, let's figure out how we will set this up with the rest of the pedals, which I will present to you in a moment. So my friend arrived a couple of minutes ago uh, with a bunch of pedals that he wanted me to add in the board. So, as a reminder, he wants me to put all of these pedals inside that little Peltrain Metro 24 board. The patch cables that he, he bought are uh, Harley Benton. I think they're called the flat patch cables. Yes, the FPC and then you have the size in centimeters, so 18, so this one is 18 centimeters long. So these are the patch cables that we will be using for this particular uh, pedal board build. Let's go. Okay, so uh, that's the board. As you can see, I've managed to put almost every pedal on it, except for the Crybaby, which obviously is uh, way too big to be put on a board like the Metro 24. But that's, that's okay, it's really playable that way, and I've found a way to plug it anyway and make it usable just as well. 
So everything right now is plugged into the switcher. So the signal starts with the Line 6 Relay G30, which is a wireless system that I put under the board just to save uh, a bit of space. Then it goes into the Digitec drop pedal, which is a must have. I, I can't recommend this pedal enough. The signal then goes from the drop into the crybaby and then from the crybaby into the switcher's input. Since my friend only uses one pedal in front of the preamp, which is a Maxon OD808, we decided to put it anywhere in any loop before the preamp. Now all remaining pedals will have to be put on the FX loop, starting with the Boss NS2 noise suppressor, then his signal goes directly into the BBE Booster Grande, which he uses to boost the volume of the preamp during the solos. After that, the signal goes from the boost pedal into the delay, and then the last patch that we will use will be for the Boss RV6, which will be the last pedal of the chain. While playing, he realized that he wasn't really using more than one sound coming from the delay pedal. So we decided not to use the MIDI capabilities of the switcher, but we still left enough space to use it if needed. Now let's talk about the power section of the board. I'll flip it over so you can see exactly what I did. The power supply that we put underneath the board uh, comes from a company called Donner. It really is a great item. It is very small, very inexpensive, and it powers pretty much any guitar pedal that you can own, seriously. There you go, that's the board that I've built. Now let's actually hear how it sounds like. 